Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. And this is going to be for August 2024. Um, welcome if you're new or you've been here on my channel before. Um, the reading will be a general read. So take the bits that resonate, leave the bits that don't. And time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa. All right. What is going on for Pisces in August? Believe. Be gentle with yourself. Tell me more. Listen to your body. Forgiveness heals in reverse. Notice the blessings. All right. Seems to be a pretty common message this time. Um, with a lot of different signs about being grateful. Okay, let's start with, actually, I want to start with these and then we'll go to the others. So be gentle with yourself, which is in reverse. So this is about not pushing so much. It's about taking time to rest. If you need to, take a break, you know, like be gentle with yourself. If you need to take a nap, take a nap. Um... You know, if you're not feeling like your normal self right now, that's okay. You know, just be gentle with yourself. Um, listen to your body. And this is you know, pretty much the same thing. Whatever it's telling you, listen to it. Do what you need to do, whether it's um, you need to rest, you need to rest. So whatever it's telling you, listen to your body. You've got forgiveness heals and it's in reverse. This says to forgive yourself and others, let go of the old story, release any guilt and blame. Everyone's doing the best they can. Um, and that includes you. Kickstart the healing process by surrendering all the judgment and hurt. Your health and happiness will thank you. So there's somebody that you or something you haven't yet let go of. Um, could be in the past, could be a current relationship, could be what a family member, friend, whatever, right? But there's something that you still need to heal from. Um, yeah. And, yeah, I feel like this could be between you and someone else. Okay, so let's go with the more positive now. Notice the blessings. So, as I said, being grateful seems to be a huge message um, for August for a lot of signs. So I feel like, I mean, it's it's important um, generally anyway. So, yeah, feel like you're feeling down, then be grateful. Think of three things every single day that you feel grateful for. You know, focus on what you have, what blessings you have. Um, yeah. Yeah. I feel like it puts you in a better position of having and not wanting, thanking rather than complaining. So I feel like it's important to, like, you know, you have a house. Do you have a job? Do you have a partner? Do you have kids? Do you have a loving family? Do you have great friends? Do you have a loving pet? I don't know. Do you love that you're alive and you can breathe? Um, you know, life may not be where you want right now. And maybe that's 
just because you need to forgive and let go of something, but also listen to your own body and your own mind. Um, yeah. I feel like just be okay with where you are at right now. And if it means sitting outside in the yard with your dog and, you know, appreciating the air on your face, the wind on your face, the sun on your face, whatever, do it. If you feel like you need to be around nature, do it. Um, you really need to know how awesome you are and do things that maybe make you feel happier, feel... Um, do things that you just find fun and it's like life life is short we need to enjoy the time that we have here and you need to realize how awesome you are because the greatest relationship you can have is with you And it's telling you to believe. There's magic all around. Notice the synchronicities, the connections, follow feelings that you get. Believe you can manifest whatever dreams that you have. Um, you know, with your relationships, you know, they can blossom. Anything is possible. Everything is possible. So even if you're in a down moment at the moment, maybe just focus on the positive. Try to change the your perception, change your, what is it? Change your, like stop thinking negative and think more like be grateful because you can't be grateful for things and feel like crap because you put yourself in a good place thinking about good things. If you feel like you need to go take your dog for a walk or a play in the park, do that. If you feel like you just need to go and spend time in nature, do that. Whatever it is that makes you feel good. Okay, let's get some tarot for Pisces. And can I have a... Not really what I want to use for you guys. Okay, Pisces. Few more cards and then we'll go through them. Pisces for August. Take an outcome card, please. Okay. So the first two you have Page of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles. In reverse I feel like you I don't know whether you see someone or saw someone, see someone, whatever, as quite selfish or 
you have no desire to be in a situation or it wasn't giving you what you needed it to give you. Um, yeah, I just feel like you couldn't see how this was going to get any better. Whatever situation this was, I don't feel like you could see that it's going to get any better. Um, but it also, to me, wasn't bringing you what you needed it to. Like, I feel like you were putting in all this time and effort and it's like it just wasn't bringing you what you needed it to bring you. Like, if I plant a tree, right, you think, okay, a tree is going to give you fruit or shade or whatever, you know, you're expecting that it's going to give you. And when it, if it doesn't, it doesn't grow and, and or grows very slowly, it's going to be like, hmm, that's a bit disappointing. I feel that sort of energy. Um, hmm. Um, then you have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Wands. And funny enough, I can't even show you this one, but like the guy standing there <laughs> and she's like watching it on TV going, wow. <laughs> I love this card. That's hilarious. It makes me laugh, this deck. It's the badass tarot deck. They're pretty funny. So Ace of Wands and Ace of Wands. I mean, new opportunities or growth, setting some goals, having a passion for life maybe you need to find something creative maybe um it's about something that makes you feel desire um maybe you need to do some art maybe you sing maybe you do what you need to find something that can help lift your mood um maybe even to help you move on and let something go maybe you do an artwork maybe you find a song that you need to sing and i don't know it helps you relax whatever this is right um then you have the high priestess in reverse Oh, that's the lady off of um the nanny the old lady in reverse so the high priestess in reverse and the six of wands in reverse i feel like you withdrew um, from a situation um, kind of went into like a hermit mode um, yeah I just feel like you kind of withdrew that's what I'm getting with Drew. And even if you had feelings that something wasn't working, I don't even know if you even trusted that either. Um, in the outcome, you had Nine of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Two Nines, which is accomplishment and climax. So, yeah, you ended up coming to some sort of end of some sort of or getting close to some end of some sort of cycle um i feel like you are in a place of depression you um maybe have anxiety and fear and worry Whew, first thing on sorry about that lack of sleep possibly maybe you're having um, obsessive thoughts even in your sleep when you're not sleeping all that well um, nightmares um, 
So yeah, I don't feel like at the moment that you're in a really good place um, with the Nine of Cups. So this is like count the blessings that you have. Um, I feel like you, you are getting, you know, you have a nice life. You have the, or will get blessings. Oh my God, I'm like struggling to stay awake all of a sudden. I'll say to myself in a minute, but I feel like you just need to be grateful because you have a life that a lot of people would be, you know, jealous of, thankful to have. You know, there's a lot in your life that you stop focusing on the negative because you have a lot to be grateful for. Um, on the bottom, you have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Four of Wands in reverse. You can't let the past go. Maybe there's also a struggle to do with financial independence or um, looking after yourself. There could have been a lot of conflict in your home life. Um, yeah, but there's something about the past that you haven't yet, I guess, forgiven, um, Yeah, I just feel like you have a lot to be grateful for. And, you know, I feel like that is a huge thing. Really just look at the look at the positives that you have because you have a lot. Um, you might not be in a good place. Oh, my God. You might not be in a good place and having a lot of sleep, obviously. But, yeah, I feel like you have a lot to be grateful for. So, um just focus on that. Um, that's what I have and um, I'll catch you with the next read. Okay, bye.